Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message for the Collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. This is going to be a general reading. It is a message for the Collective, you guys, and it is for all zodiac signs. So as always, please remember to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys as always. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, Palo Santos, you guys. Thanking you for joining me on this journey of enlightenment and love, y'all. I'm getting some energy here with this reading. So this is going to be um, for whomever it resonates with. So it could be for someone that you're in separation with. It could be no contact. It could also be someone that you're in union with, okay? So as always, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. But somebody wants your attention. That's what I'm getting. I keep getting that energy. Like there's someone that wants your attention, okay? It's like somebody is restless. They're not at ease. They're trying to put their mind at ease is what I'm getting. Something like that, right? You're on this person's mind, okay? So I'm getting they're thinking about you a lot. Um, they're focused on you. So I'm picking up this separation energy, separation, no contact type of energy, but I feel like there's somebody, they're definitely wanting to get your attention, but we're going to go ahead and tap in here, see what is going on for the collective, you guys. Please remember to take only what resonates, as always, leave the rest. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future, he, she, him, her, people, places, things. Y'all, let's tap into the who, what when, where, and why, and see what is going on for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message, during this reading. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. Okay, so I'm seeing something about, it's like I'm seeing something to do with domination, Sagittarius energy here, okay? So we have Sagittarius Mars placement, you guys. Please make sure you're checking your birth chart, your natal charts, checking for your placement, your aspects, so that you get the most out of your readings, okay? Um, that's definitely um, very important here, but I'm seeing here, I'm getting something to do with domination, something to do with control, okay? I'm seeing the number nine. So it's like a cycle is ending. I'm seeing loss. Mm. Okay, so something to do with loss, Pisces energy, okay? So we have Pisces, Pisces, Jupiter placement. Okay, so I'm seeing something to do with control. I'm also seeing someone losing something. Someone feels as though they had it all. Yeah, somebody feels as though they had it all with you and they lost it. That's what I'm getting. It's like they let Maybe they were trying to manipulate the connection. There could have been some insecurity here where they were trying to um, do some type of manipulation. Divine feminine, I don't work with you, okay? Somebody's out in the cold is what I'm getting. Um, separation, no contact. Please give us more. What's this? Okay, so something to do with revenge, okay? And that's definitely some um, Scorpio energy here. Okay, so I'm getting a Scorpio Mars energy. Somebody trying to take action. There's something to do with revenge. And there's somebody that wants your attention. Somebody's acting out. Someone's acting out to get your attention. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, it seems like Whomever this person is, divine feminine, divine masculine, it's like this person feels like you're kind of like living your best life. You really moved on. They thought that you would come back. This is someone that's used to a lot of um, attention, okay? But you didn't spend a block. 
And I feel like somebody is trying to like push your buttons, but they're doing this because they want your attention. Yeah. Please give us more for the collective. It's like they're testing you. It's like they're doing a temperature check, right? Trying to see what your true emotions are. They're trying to get a leg up, okay? To see how you truly feel. If you've truly like moved on is what I'm getting. Something like that. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Yeah, it's like somebody's trying to make you jealous. But they're focused on you, right? But I feel like there's somebody that's trying to make you jealous during separation, no contact. There, it's like it's almost like there's a facade. I'm picking up on a facade, some type of illusion. So this could be someone that appears to be in union with someone else. Or you could have seen this person with someone else. I feel like this is part of the plan, though. Yeah, this person's broken hearted. And I feel like it's really, it's bothering them that you didn't turn around like and chase them. They're used to like this toxic energy, okay? They're used to people chasing them, but you didn't spend a block. You stood on business. You don't chase, you attract. But this person is doing everything to get your attention. And I feel like you could have seen them with someone or you could be hearing that they're in union with someone, a karmic or something like that, a third party. Yeah. And they're focused on you. Now this, hmm, you guys, Libra energy. This is somebody that has real feelings for you. I'm seeing Gemini energy. So there's somebody that's like not being vulnerable, like kind of hiding their feelings, something like that. But I feel like this is a facade or some type of illusion. You seeing them with someone or hearing about them being with someone. They want to get a reaction out of you. Yeah. They want to know that you still care. This person wants to know that you still care. And they're trying to like put their mind at ease, right? Knowing that, at least knowing that you still care will put their mind at ease. That's what I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. What else we got? It's like you're, you, this person loves you. Like, it's like, but they did something. Like, it's like they fumbled with you, right? And so it's like they were on this journey with you of unconditional love. Like, things were, you guys were rocking, but they fumbled something, right? Please give us more for the collective, but you're always, I'm getting, this person thinks about you constantly. Yeah, they want, I feel like you put some very strong boundaries in place with this person. So they're doing things to get a reaction, to get you to react. And I feel like this person could definitely be using a karmic, a third party to make you jealous. Yeah, they're trying to create some type of drama. They... I feel like you definitely put some strong boundaries in place. But this person doesn't know how to navigate something like this either. Because they're used to getting a lot of attention. They're used to these, like, I'm getting pick me, low vibrational type of energies. Like chasing them, a lot of toxic cycles. But I'm getting, you no, know, Divine Feminine does not chase, Okay. Something to do with romance, all right? So, Taurus energy. They're not letting up. They're not letting up. Taurus energy with a Venus placement, yeah. This is someone that is very stubborn, is what I'm getting. Something like that. Please give us more for the collective, right? Somebody that you poured a lot into. Mm-hmm. Very stubborn. This person wasn't pouring into you. So we got Cancer Energy. We have a Cancer Jupiter placement. I'm seeing growth. So there is some growth, but the way that they're going about things, I feel like this person is trying to get a reaction out of you. They're trying to trigger you. Um, 
because of these boundaries that are in place, right? So they want to respect your boundaries, but they want for you to say something to them, right? They're trying to evoke like a response, right? Trigger a response from you, Divine Feminine, because you have boundaries in place, right? Yeah, but this is somebody that you loved on this person. Ooh, you overextended yourself, but they're not letting up. They're not letting this go. But the way they're going about it is very odd. Like I'm getting this odd energy. So you could have seen this. Again, you could have seen this person with someone. You could hear that this person is being, they're like in contact or like they're starting to, or they're in a new cycle with someone. But I'm getting, they're feeding people information so that they'll come back and tell you or something like that, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. See, this person, that, that's that odd energy that I'm picking up on. But I'm getting here, they're not letting up with this romance, right? So they're finding a way to come back towards you, right? They're finding a way to break the ice. Now, this could definitely be pushing you further away. 11-11 on the timer, they're trying to open doors. They're trying to open a connection. But they want to know if you still care as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. And they're, I feel like they're sending people, right? See, they're being very manipulative about this. And this is because they want you back, Divine Feminine. So they're doing this because they want you back. But you may feel like this person's moved on. They're in a connection with a karmic, a third party, something like that. And you may feel like this person's moved on. Mm-mm. This is all an illusion. Wow. What else we got here? Please give us more. They're testing you. Temperature check. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Wow. Okay. So I'm getting here. This person, there's a lot of anxiety, okay, surrounding the future. This is, again, somebody that wants you back. Yeah. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. What else does the collective need to know? <laughs> you see that? I'm seeing manipulation and I'm seeing a fair, okay? So I'm getting this Leo energy, pride, ego, right? Pride and ego. Imagine that. And I'm seeing manipulation. So it's like you have boundaries in place with this person from when you separated from them. And this person, I'm getting, they they respect that, right? They're, they're respecting these boundaries that you have in place, Divine Feminine. But also, too, they want to try again to work things out. But they don't know how to break the ice with you without violating, right? Yeah, without violating like your boundaries and things like that. But I'm getting here a lot of manipulation and I'm getting pride and ego. So not only is it the boundaries, but also to this person, they really want you to, they need to know that you care, okay? They want you to somehow, or, you know, they're trying to get things in a way that you'll let them know that you care or something like that. So they're being very manipulative, okay? And Divine Feminine, you chase, you don't attract. So it's like, I feel like this Divine Masculine's losing it behind the scenes, right? But I feel like you're seeing things or you're hearing things like this Divine Masculine's moved on. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. I'm seeing something to do with your influence. This divine masculine's in love with you. Libra energy, okay? We got a Mercury placement with a Libra, all right? Something to do with communication. Poor communication is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, this divine masculine, oh, discovery. Why is discovery here? Some type of evidence is coming out, something to do with discovery, you're going to be getting some type of clarity, some type of evidence, right? Something to do. What do we have here? Speculation. 
<laughs> See, I feel like you feel as though this divine masculine's in another romantic connection, right? It looks like this divine masculine's moved on. I'm getting discovery. So I'm getting like, you're going to get proof or you're going to get some clarity, okay? Find out what's going on behind the scenes here. Wow, I'm seeing a Leo sun. Now, I'm getting a lot of Leo energy, so I'm getting a portal is opening here. Some type of portal. Yeah, manifestations. Manifestations on the way. A lot of pride, though, here. A lot of ego, and I'm getting courage. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. This person's falling apart. They're falling apart because I feel like they're not getting the reaction that they expected from you, right? Like, I see you seeing this person or like, you know, you know that this person is like in a connection with someone else or in some type of karmic cycle. But it's like deep down inside, right? This person's always thinking about you is what I'm getting. Missing you, okay? Okay. Yeah, so, but I feel like you're seeing, it's like this person's moved on. This person knows you're on the defense with them. Taurus energy on the board. Mm-hmm. Queen of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Swords energy, y'all. What else we got? Please give us more. Mm, they're holding out hope. They're holding out hope. This person is holding out hope that you guys will reconnect, okay? But they're setting things up to get a reaction out of you. That's what I'm getting, right? It's like they're testing you. They want to know, like, how you feel. They can't, like, let you go. They can't release this connection. And they're definitely not happy with this person that they're with. Or this is just an illusion. It's a facade. Please give us more. This person's playing a lot of games. Wow. Because you're the ideal partner. And it's in boundaries. See? Mm-hmm. So since they can't come to you, they trying to get you to react to them. See, this person's trying to be real slick, y'all. Aquarius energy on the board. You're the ideal partner. I'm getting you're very unique, rare, different, right? They want to be back in harmony with you, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Libra energy. These are true emotions. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, it's like somebody's about to be very disappointed. Because this Divine Masculine, I feel like, is... They got a karmic, a third party, somebody, and they're like trying to use this person to make you jealous. It's you that they want, right? Yeah. It's you that this divine masculine wants. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Mm-hmm. You'll clean house in a minute. See what I say? You the one they want. Look at that. Aries energy on the board. Venus. This divine masculine is extremely attracted to you. Okay? Very attracted to you. I told y'all. They will release. I'll get, I'm getting, they will purge everything, right? I'm getting, they'll release um, any of these energies. It's like your reaction, somebody's on borrowed time here, right? Because I'm getting this divine masculine will clean house, okay? If you gave them an ounce of your attention. Yeah. That's what they want. Mm. Okay, what else we got? Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more negotiations. Libra energy again. I'm getting a lot of truth here, okay? A lot of truth. So this divine masculine could have definitely been hiding their feelings, divine feminine. Something like that because I'm getting a lot of truth and a lot of clarity, 
But again, this divine masculine, it's like since they can't come to you, they're going to try and get you to come to them or, you know, force or get a reaction. Oh, now for some of you guys, divine feminine, I feel like seeing this may be like pushing you in the opposite direction, right? What you're seeing here with this divine masculine or what you're hearing, right? But it's like looks are deceiving is what I'm getting. Um, I'm getting that this is an illusion, again, to get a reaction from you. These feelings never faded away from this divine masculine. Feelings never, they never faded. Yeah. Uh-uh. This divine masculine is still very much in love with you, right? And this may be something that you're not able to see, okay? But I'm getting that you have boundaries in place, but there's also... I'm getting a lot of pride and ego, okay? Yeah. Please give us more for the collective Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more. Mm. Divine Feminine, if you think that this person has moved on, they have not. And this is all because they're doing this for the complete opposite reason. This person is in love with you. This is all about you. You're the main focus here. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more. Wow. They're going to the extreme. Look at this. They're going to the extreme is what I'm getting. Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures, right? This divine masculine is trying to get your attention. Wow. I'm seeing this is somebody that's been detached or there's a detachment. They're not attached to this person. Whomever it appears that this divine masculine is like dealing with in union with, you know, it's like... Again, I'm seeing illusion, something going on behind the scenes, right? Wow. See, here it is right here. I'm seeing seductive energy, but I'm also seeing here innovation. So this is somebody that's trying to will you back towards them. They're trying to get you engaged, okay? They're trying to get your energy. They're trying to get your attention. They're trying to get a reaction from you. And they're trying, um, I'm getting unorthodox ways here a bit, right? Yeah, because I'm seeing here, they're being very unique, but trying to be slick. What else we got? Wow. And I feel like you're looking like, wow, okay. You may even be looking at this person like it may be the opposite reaction, right? This could be backfiring with you, Divine Feminine, because look, Divine Feminine does not chase and Divine Feminine doesn't play these types of games. So I feel like maybe, you know, this Divine Masculine could be seeing that this isn't working. So there's like, I'm picking up on like an act of desperation because I'm seeing here escape. You might be going in the opposite direction here. Like, okay, you moved on. I guess you're not for me. Not in this lifetime, at least, right? Yeah. What else we got? I'm seeing something to do with a Gemini. Gemini moon. Somebody could have a Gemini moon. Also an Aquarius Venus placement. Hmm. What else we got here? Adaptability. That's that duality. Mm-hmm. Wow. What else we got? This is an illusion that's going on here. This person was all over the place with you. I'm seeing indecisive, stubborn type of energy. How picking up on that, that stubborn type of energy. Yeah. So it's like this person had to have things their way or something like that. But they truly care. I'm seeing a Libra Venus placement. I'm also getting this rebellious energy, right? So stubborn but in love with you. What was going on here? 
because I'm picking up on stubborn energy, okay? So there was no flexibility with this person. They had to have things their way or they weren't changing something, right? That's what ended them up out in the cold, Divine Feminine. Something to do with friendships. It could have been other energies around them. Okay. And you, look, guard up. You, you got your guard up with this person. I'm also, I'm getting like this divine masculine. They wanted to, it was like the best of both worlds type of energy. They wanted to have her cake and eat it too. So you let them have their cake, right? You could go head over there. And it's like this divine masculine's trying to make it look like they're so happy to get your attention. And I feel like you're like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, it's backfiring. Okay? The truth is, this divine masculine wants a new beginning. They don't know what else to do. I'm getting a lot of Venus energy here. This person wants a new beginning, a new romantic beginning. They want a do-over. Okay? Never, they have never... You're very different from what they're used to, Divine Feminine. There's that eccentric energy, that Aquarius energy. You march to the beat of your own drummer. You don't chase. You attract. You follow the laws of the universe, the laws of assumption, right? You're laid back. You're not toxic. You're just so unique. You're so different from what this Divine Masculine is used to. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, I feel like they were a bit insecure. I'm seeing this control keeps coming up, right? I keep seeing control. So it was like this divine masculine was afraid that they were going to lose you or something like that. Because, I, I, again, you're very different from what they're used to. I can tell you that. Wow. Okay. Very eccentric, though. Very unique. Very rare here. Okay. Wow. But it's something about this divine masculine trying to operate in between two worlds. They wanted to be a player. So it was like your presence was enabling this person to have the best of both worlds. No, it don't work like that. Not with a divine feminine. Ooh. Ooh. So you let them have the other world, right? But they're trying to make you jealous now, right? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> they should know better than that. They should have known better because now they on the outside and they're not getting the reaction that they were looking for, right? This person's trying to show something off to you. There's nothing that's in comparison. There's no competition. So I feel like it's like you may be looking at this divine masculine like, oh, okay. I mean, they in the lower vibrational energy. They would pick me, you know, these karmic energies, a karmic cycle. Maybe that's what they like. This divine masculine trying to use this type of energy to get you jealous. Child, please, what is going on here? See, they want an argument. Now, this could be, why am I getting this energy? Like, you argued, you guys had, I'm seeing this with coral, right? So, arguing, I'm seeing here some chaos, some conflict, cancer energy. So, I'm picking up on the energy. This could have, you could have seen them. Since you've separated, you could have seen them or heard about this person being in or being with the person that you guys separated or something like that. The reason you guys were separated, now they're with this person, right? But they're doing this to get a reaction. Wow. They're doing this to get a reaction out of you, Divine Feminine. Something to do with enterprise. I'm getting an enterprise. 
Now, wh why, wait a minute. Why am I getting Enterprise here? What is going on here? Aries Energy. We got Aries Energy. Um, Aries Jupiter Placement Growth Healing. What's going on with this Divine Masculine's lifestyle? Something to do with Enterprise here. Okay. Protection. I'm seeing ego. Okay. We know ego is an issue here. This is a big part of the reason why this Divine Masculine's doing what they're doing. And I'm seeing restless without you. Something to do with an enterprise. And there's something to do with their lifestyle. Protection. Aries energy again and Aries moon. Somebody could have Aries in their chart. Okay. Hmm. Something's organized here. I'm getting some organization, enterprise. Child, what else we got here? Mm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. This is like them plotting, planning, organizing something. What else we got? Risk. It's like that same energy, somebody, whomever, it was like they risked this connection with you, Divine Feminine. And now it's like you're hearing that they're with this person or something like that. But their only reason they're doing this is to get your attention. They know that you don't compete. This Divine Masculine knows this about you. So they have this person in place, this karmic, this third party. They have them in place to get your attention. This is the only way to get a reaction out of you. This person is something else, right? Wow. Because your boundaries, they can't assert themselves with their wish fulfillment, which is you, Divine Feminine. So this is very calculated is what I'm getting. They have other players involved here, other people involved in this plot because I'm getting information is coming back to you, but this is information that they want to come back towards you to make you jealous, to get a reaction out of you, right? That's why I'm getting like this enterprise. It's like, you know, they're conducting like, it's like this person is very um, methodical, right? That's why I was getting like organized. Show sure, what else we got. And look, it's backfiring. I'm seeing resistance. Yeah, you're standing on business. You're standing on business. Peppercorn energy. Look at this. This divine masculine wants to build with you. This person feels like there could be someone else also. I feel like this person feels like there could be someone else or someone else is getting close to you. It's like, I'm getting like this person is, this divine masculine is messy. I'm getting, you know, they're fragmented, but they have like, they're locked in with you, right? It's like their their intuition is kicking in. Like there's somebody else like around you or getting close to you. Yeah, it's like a feeling. They it's like they're picking there. You must have somebody that's coming towards you. Because I'm picking up on this energy as well. There's another masculine energy here. Okay. Yeah. But this divine masculine's picking up on it, their intuition. Wow. They're missing this connection with you. I can tell you that, divine feminine. Yeah. Y'all, let's go to the... 
this divine masculine's really tapped in, but I'm picking up on that energy as well, that there's somebody else around you. Or maybe they're friends. Somebody close to them is telling them this. Hmm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Yeah. I'm definitely getting that, right? What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Wow. See, this is what's hidden. This Divine Masculine, I feel like they look they're looking messy to you, Divine Feminine, but I'm getting here. They want to heal this connection. They want to fix this. They want to know how you feel, though. Mm-hmm. Wow. What else we got? And I feel like for some of you guys, you did see them with this third party. That was not a coincidence. That was, that was definitely intentional. That was just Divine Masculine's intentions, right? What did I just say? Tell me I ain't tapped in. It was their intention for you to see them with this person or they want you, you know, it's like they're trying to trigger you to get a reaction, but their true intention, what they want, the outcome that they want is to heal this connection. What the heck? See, I didn't want to say it. Look, rock bottom. Remember I said you're seeing this divine masculine or hearing about this divine masculine with somebody and I feel like you're looking at them like, oh, they done hit rock bottom. There is no competition, right? Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, right? Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Yeah. They think there may be somebody else, though. That's what I'm getting. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective, and they're testing you. It's like they keep testing you, testing your love, or divine feminine, you're not messy, though. Like, that's not going to... What else we got? They're coming into a deep knowing. They're understanding your spiritual ranking and why you're reacting or not reacting the way that they want you to or the way that they had hoped you would. Yeah. Look, you said you can go ahead and have that one ring circus by yourself. You're not getting in that. But there's no competition. But look, you're like home to them. Yes. The familiarity, and you see that owl there? I'm seeing that owl face. It's like this person, they know it now. And I'm seeing a clock, time's running out, see? Because there's somebody else. That's what I keep getting, like there's somebody else in your energy. This divine masculine thought that you were in isolation or seclusion, or you could be, but there's somebody else that's coming towards you, right? So now I'm getting, look, <laughs> An emotional storm is going on. You're not reacting because you're really that person. You you don't engage in this messy type of energy, right? Yeah, you're not toxic, right? So now there's a balancing act going on, right? Something about dreams, okay? Something about dreams. You could be having dreams right your higher self could be communicating to you through your dreams giving you clarity on this but divine feminine i feel like you you know are taking it at face value you're not reacting i feel like you're just like this divine masculine is just they done hit rock bottom right Mm-hmm. what else we got Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Wow. See, their intuition, their inner compass is telling them that you got some energy coming towards you. Yup. 
And it's like, this was the last thing. This person, they didn't want to see you with someone else. They never wanted to see you with someone else. They can't imagine you being with someone else. Something like that. Ooh, what else we got? Mmm. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Unexpected visitor. Okay. This person, I feel like, is going to... They're going to um, take a leap of faith because they're not getting the reaction they thought. And I feel like this person feels like there's somebody else coming towards you. So I'm getting a pop-up visit. Yeah. I'm getting a pop-up visit from this person coming towards you. Something like that. Mmm. They trying to make this better. They trying to fix this, right? I feel like they're realizing that they're doing more damage than good at this point because of your, I was going to say your reaction, but the lack of your reaction is what I'm getting, right? These lower vibrational energies goblins is what I'm seeing, right? There's no competition. And this is their intention. They want to come back together with you. They want to reconnect. But this person keeps getting, they're making things worse. It's like they're the best at making a situation worse or a bad situation even worse. That's what I'm getting. But they want to, it's like they're falling apart because they want, they want to be back with you, right? They want a second chance. They want to try to fix this. This person was following other energies, ego, right? Follow the leader type of energy. So somebody was manipulating them, encouraging them to do whatever they did that landed them up out in the cold with you. Okay. So there was some type of influence. A spirit saying, ride the wave. Ride the wave. With this person, they want to confess something to you. And I feel it's their emotions. But I feel like, you know, they were, they're respecting these boundaries. This divine masculine is respecting boundaries with you. That's why they were trying to trigger a reaction to get you to come back towards them, to break the ice that way. But I feel like now that this divine masculine feels as though you may be being open or receptive to another energy, I feel like they're going to take a leap of faith. They're going to take their chances, right? And I feel like it's the type of energy like this divine masculine. I'm seeing unexpected visitor. This divine masculine is going to like pop up like, you know, yeah, so I heard you were talking to um, this other masculine or are you seeing this other masculine? And I feel like after all of this, this whole production to get your attention, trying to make you jealous, now this divine masculine's coming to question you. I feel like you're going to be looking at them, like giving them the side eye, like, how are you questioning me? Um, Haven't you moved on type of energy? Yeah. Wow. Something to do with a talisman, right? Somebody, something you could have given this to buy masculine. I'm seeing awareness, okay? I told you, very intuitive. So it's like something that got them like up at night, like toss and turning type of energy. Like they can't, it's like they're thinking like there's somebody coming towards you or somebody else is in your energy you could be seeing someone else starting to get close to someone. But this divine masculine, they're picking up on this feeling. They're sensing this is what I'm getting. Ooh, y'all tapped in. Mm-hmm. Wow. Please give us more. Now, I've seen talisman and I'm hearing altar. So something to do with altar, a talisman. This divine masculine could have an altar. 
or you could have an altar. Something that you've given this divine masculine, they could have on something like that. Y'all, please take it how it resonates, right? No. Mm -mm. Dear Seeking Wise Counsel, this divine masculine, because they're not getting a reaction from you, this divine masculine's went to a practitioner. That's what I'm picking up on. That's why I'm getting altar. That's why I'm getting talisman, right? Something to do, it could be your picture. This divine masculine is trying to get some type of divine. I'm getting, they're trying to get some type of intervention here. Because it's like nothing they're doing is working. Getting your attention, something like that. Please give us more for the collective. That's what I'm picking up on, right? And I'm getting, creating something, right? Now, there could be something that was, you know, handmade, something that you had given the divine masculine. There's something like that, whereas they've went to see someone, okay? Yeah. An intuitivist, a spiritualist, something like that. Please give us more for the collective. Mm, okay. It's like they're trying to open up the portal. Remember I said something to do with portal, a portal of love, opening up the doorway. They're trying to get the things to flow between you guys again. Oh, see? But again, they're coming up, they're going about it the wrong way. Because if you try, you, look, you trying to make divine feminine jealous, that's a futile effort, y'all. I'm seeing there's still a spark here, okay? That divine Feminine, I feel like that's you, but you're very cold as well. But I feel like there's still a, a spark here. You know, I feel like that guided you towards this reading. But this person is testing you, but they're the one that's ultimately learning a lesson. Growth, development. You can't play with a divine feminine. Those games that work for those low vibrational energies, karmic third party, pick me energy does not work with divine feminine. Cleaning house. See there? Didn't I tell you? Cleaning house. Yeah. That's the energy I feel like this divine masculine is seeking guidance, spiritual guidance with regards to this connection. And I feel like they're being advised to clean it up. Mm-hmm. Purge that energy. That's what I'm getting. Purge the energy. What we got here? Okay. It's time for them to clean it up and start cutting ties because that's the last thing you want to do is try and use another energy to make divine feminine jealous because divine feminine, again, does not chase. Divine feminine attracts. So it's like... If you got another energy, have at it. Do your thing. Right? Like divine feminine is not going to chase. Divine feminine is not going to spin the block. It's not going to run after you. But I'm getting here. See, that's also that ride the wave. You, it's like you attract. You don't chase. And I feel like this divine masculine you know, they're reaching out, seeking wise counsel, right? And I feel like that's the advice they're getting as well. You know, they're trying to manipulate things and I feel like they're being guided. Like you, you need to clean up. You need to clean up. Yeah. You holding on to things that don't serve you no more. These other energies, you have a divine feminine. You're throwing off, you're throwing things out of balance by maintaining connections with past energies that you have ascended from. Mm. Yup. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. See, the divine masculine's wide open for you, okay? What else we got? There, there, it's like foolishness, right? They are seeing like, it's like they're being foolish. They a fool in love, y'all. Mm-hmm. A fool in love. What you say? 
What else we got? Hidden treasure. They going about this all wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing protecting treasure. <sighs> they working themselves into a deeper rut with you. Look, mountain. They got obstacles to climb and they're also creating more obstacles with you. But I feel like, look, choices to be made. Choices to be made. Transformative energy, right? Yeah. You're not that toxic one. What else we got? Please give us more. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to control things. Ego has no place. With the divine connection that you guys share. They're the ones that's throwing things out of balance here. I'm getting let things flow. Stop trying to control things. Mm-hmm. Wow. See, they losing it because it's not working. And they're with somebody that's shape-shifting, somebody a fake phony energy, somebody that's acting like they're a divine feminine, right? A shape-shifter, a copycat. No, they want the real thing that they had before. Yeah, they want the real thing. There's nothing like you, Divine Feminine. What else we got? And they realize that now. See that? Very unique, very rare energy. Okay. See, there's that change again. I'm seeing metamorphosis. Okay. So whomever they're getting advice from, this person's telling them it's you. It's not Divine Feminine. It's you. You need to clean up. Start severing ties, right? It's time for you to elevate. You can't have a divine feminine that is rare and, you know, and still be maintaining connections and some low vibrational energy. It's counterintuitive and it just ain't going to work, right? Mm-hmm. They find it out the hard way. What else we got? Strength. I told y'all, leap of faith. Because they can't get your attention. But I feel like you're seeing this person with other people. And I feel like this is something that someone needs to hear. This is specific for someone, right? Because you're seeing this person with the third party, right? But this was part of the plan to trigger you. But it's backfiring. Okay? They want to get your attention. They're testing you. But it's backfiring. They're doing more harm than good. Yeah, there's no easy, quick way back into divine feminine's graces. Uh-uh. Slow and steady. Mm-hmm. Slow and steady wins the race, y'all. And they're learning that. Slow and steady wins the race. That they are learning. Yup. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot and see what we get for the collective you guys yeah ciao what else we got mm, 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 mm. y'all i think i'm gonna use let's see let's use this deck spirit saying use this deck we'll use this deck Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Fem first card that flew out, strength, Leo energy, right? Getting the strength to come back towards you the right way, right? Mm-hmm. The right way. Stop trying to manipulate a divine feminine. You'll push a divine feminine even further away or lose them all together. Lose that connection. Yeah. See you next lifetime. What? Please give us more eternal, infinite love. And whomever this karmic third party is, right? It feels like they've taken your place. This copycat, they're getting played. This divine masculine has them trying to make you jealous. That's the only reason. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. See, this divine masculine sits back and looks at what they had with you. 
deep regret, right? Stop trying to control it. What else we got? Please give us more. Mm-hmm. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Yeah, they need to slow it down here. Ooh, because this is not the way to go about it. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, look at this. Knight of Wands, look, action in the King of Wands, right? So this Divine Masculine taking action to come back towards you. You thought this Divine Masculine was breadcrumbing you in the past. Oh, yeah. You felt like you were giving more in this connection. Somebody's having a new perspective. They're seeing things. That's this Divine Masculine. Love offer coming in. I can't make it up. Mm-hmm. They've been coming at you all wrong. They've been handling this all wrong. Counterintuitive. It's backfiring. Please give us more for the collective. They're blocking their own blessings. This divine masculine's been in their own way the whole time, right? Yeah. It's like this person rather stated themselves or something like that is what I'm getting. Like isolation, don't want anybody around them type of energy at this point. Because they realize they're doing more harm than good. But I'm getting this leap of faith coming back towards you. Look at this, the truth. Hmm. That's the only way. Queen of Swords. That's the only way with Divine Feminine. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Don't play games. That's where they went wrong, right? That's where they went wrong before. See that? Chaos and conflict. And that's where they're still going wrong. There's the leap of faith. To start a new cycle, okay? So we got the chariot card, cancer energy, okay? We got cancer energy showing up, and we also have the world card, right? So I'm get you mean the world? There's a new cycle beginning here, okay? And this divine masculine now, this could be a new cycle with you and someone else that this divine masculine is picking up on, and they're rushing back in like they gotta stop this from happening. Yeah, that's why I was getting altered. They're like seeing somebody trying to they were trying to I'm getting manipulate the connection. They went to see a practitioner is what I'm getting because you're their wish fulfillment. Mm hmm. Queen of Cups. They're worried that you're going to be loving on somebody else and they can't handle it. You see that? This divine masculine can't handle that. They know that you overextended yourself, how you loved on them, and they can't handle somebody else having that, right? Ooh, okay. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Something about good? Why am I hearing good? Something about good. I don't know. Transformation. Look. Didn't I tell you? There it is right there. I'm seeing transformation. I'm seeing some type of spell work here. Okay? This divine masculine trying to figure out a way. But I'm getting transformation. I feel like whomever they're seeing is telling them it's you. It's you. You got a clean house. You got to clean up here. Yeah. It's time for you to take action and be real. Don't try and control divine feminine with games. You guys are mirroring each other's energy. King and queen of wands here. A lot of passion. This divine masculine's in their own way. <sighs> Their insecurities, I'm getting ego. They realize the burden is with them. Like the burden, they're the ones that created the burden here. Wow. 
This is a major reality check for this divine masculine. Look at this. You see that? Anxiety. And I'm seeing judgment. The ball is in your court, divine feminine, queen of pentacles. This divine masculine sees you good either way. And you don't play games. You don't. Mmm. Two of Wands. They out here broken hearted. See this? Trying to figure out how to get back right with you. Mm-hmm. Yup. What else we got? Now look at this. What we don't see coming. Better days ahead. Brighter days ahead. Y'all. But as it stands right now, look at this. This is the divine masculine's energy right now in their head. Sick about this, right? Because they tried to manipulate and look at that. Look what happened. It ended them up in deep despair over you. Major regret. They regret trying to manipulate this connection with you, right? Mm-hmm. They had everything they wanted. Look at that. Gemini energy on the board. Hierophant card, deep spiritual knowing and a long-term commitment. Mmm. Good karma. Look at that. Good karma. Pisces energy. Somebody's a Pisces. I feel like intuitively you're picking up on this. And this divine masculine intuitively is picking up on you. Now, there could be telepathic communication as well between you guys. But look at this. High Priestess, this Divine Masculine is picking up that there's somebody else in your energy. Ooh. Yup. They regret this tower moment. They regret this tower moment, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Look at this. Something about a quick turnaround. They feel like they have definitely messed up. This Divine Masculine feels like they messed up. But look at this. I'm seeing a quick turnaround with the Two of Cups. You could be hearing or something from this person very soon. You're their Empress. And they realize what they did is caused you to walk away. They mishandled you. See, they got to understand about the divine feminine and your spiritual ranking and how to navigate this connection. And they got to know trying to make you jealous only pushes you away. Yeah. Communication is coming in. What else we got? I'm getting communication coming in. Page of Wands. Now, this Divine Masculine, look at this Page of Wands with Aquarius energy. I'm seeing true love and this Divine Masculine wanting to show you just how much they love you. This Divine Masculine misses you. Please read in between the lines, Page of Wands. This Divine Masculine is definitely missing you and they want to show you. Yes, they want to show you. They want to be back in balance. They want to show you that they can pour into you the way that you poured into them. They want to show you that they can be that person that you deserved in the past. Major regret here. But they want to show you. Also, too, following your own intuition here. Aquarius energy showing up. I feel like this is giving the divine masculine no longer with that follow the leader energy. Uh-huh. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This divine masculine, I'm, there's some passion here. We've seen the king and queen of wands together, mirroring each other's energy. I feel like divine feminine, you're missing this person. Now, you could be here because you're like, after all of this, that you're seeing this divine masculine with somebody else, with the same person possibly that caused you guys to separate, right? And I feel like you may be wondering why you're still thinking about this person. There's definitely a deep connection here, a soul connection, but you guys are mirroring each other. 
at this point in time. Emotions, there is telepathic communication going on here. Okay, you guys, even though I'm getting that physical vessel is separated, right? There is still that deep soul connection and there is still communication. You guys are still locked in. Don't mistake it, y'all. Mm -mm. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Yeah. Wow. Somebody's breaking no contact. Look, somebody's rushing in to break no contact. I told you. This divine masculine is picking up on somebody else in your energy. Okay. Yeah. And this divine masculine is in love with you. So all of these games, I feel like this divine masculine is coming, that communication, right? They're rushing in to let you know, look, I want to be with you. But I feel like this is going to catch you off guard. And especially what you've seen with this divine masculine, it's like, where's all of this coming from type of energy? Thought you was locked in with this other person, this third party or this karmic, right? Hmm. You can ready to find out different. I told y'all, seeing this person with this third party was part of the plan to get your attention is what I'm getting, right? This person's testing you, but it's backfiring, right? And they're sitting here like, they're like, you don't want me. Like this divine feminine really stopped caring about me. So this is really affecting them and they want to break this no contact, right? They want this ace of cups again they want you to love them the way you loved them before nobody loved them like you did right they've never felt this i'm getting there was like you it's like you're their divine counterpart the missing piece to their soul right you have the key to their heart that soul activation was made okay so what I'm getting here, Divine Feminine, they want that again. This, they're not complete. They're incomplete without that. They're not operating at, you know, their premium energy, right? They're not, op they're, it's like they're not complete without you. That's what I'm getting. There's no replacement for you, okay? seeing a new beginning this person wants to rebuild trust with you look at that mm. this person is hurting without you see that happily ever after they want their happily ever after with you divine feminine wow they're in their own way i'm seeing ten of wands yeah wanting to rebuild this connection okay wow i feel like this divine masculine definitely feels like you're not going to take them seriously mm -hmm. it's like and I feel like there's a chance because I'm getting that energy, Divine Feminine. I'm getting you're going to get receive contact or this person's going to pop up. But I feel like you're you're not going to take them seriously, right? Because you're taking things at face value. But I'm getting tap into your higher self, read in between the lines. The devil's always in the details, right? That's where you'll find it. You'll find the, you know, the facade, the illusions, right? You'll see. That's what it was. It was an illusion, right? Wow. They're still attached to you. This divine masculine is still attached to you, divine feminine. And they regret playing with you. I'm definitely getting that energy, right? Wow. A lot of spying energy going on here. This is divine masculine wants to be back in balance with you, y'all. Let's get a few oracle cards before we get out of here and see what we get for the collective. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. 
Let's pull like three here. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine. What's the outcome here? I'm seeing this person wants to start back at square one with you. I'm seeing dating, okay? Getting back on track with you. Yeah. Because they thought they knew you. <laughs> no, they didn't. Mm. But I'm getting a deep knowing, right? Learning about spiritual ranking. Because this person then went and tried to get some help. And they've been told to clean house because they got a whole divine feminine. So they're learning. Please give us more for the collective. Okay. I'm seeing here. Ooh, growth and flexibility. Mm-hmm. I'm getting dark night of the soul. Yeah. Dark night of the soul. What else we got here? Please give us more. Okay. Let's take this one. Oh, paradise. Okay. You make them happy. I'm getting a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Let's get one more. I know I said three, y'all, but let's get one more. Okay. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more. Thank you. There's, ooh. Stopping the pattern. After this separation. This was the catalyst for them to stop this pattern. Toxic energy, something to do with like the silent treatment and the divine masculine trying to get you to come back towards them. Yeah, dealing with abandonment issues, right? So I'm getting like that avoidant type of attachment style, something to do with their attachment style. So this person's been doing some work. This has been a wake up call, a reality check, right? Okay, just one more, y'all. Wait a minute. Please give us one more. Spirit, what is it that we need to know? What's the outcome here? What's the outcome? Okay. I'm getting a void, listening to rumors, things like that. What else we got? Please give us more. Give us clarity here, okay? This is somebody that wants to be with you. Again, wanting to start over, okay? What else we got? Cupid's arrow. Hmm. Love is coming. There's a lot of hesitation here. And I'm getting because of boundaries, right? But I'm getting love is coming. This person's heartbroken, right? Yeah, I'm seeing ascension. Okay. After this separation. Wow. Somebody looking at your photograph as well. Looking at your picture. Okay, what else we got? Please give us more, just one more. Y'all, because I'm getting heavy energy here. Please give us one more for the collective. Spirit, please give us one more for the collective. What's the outcome here for the collective? Divine feminine, divine masculine. Very hard for this person to talk. Communicate is what I'm getting. Ego and your boundaries, but they see you got options. Ooh, oh yeah, they're coming in. They are definitely coming in. What else we got? Wow, what else do we got? Mirroring each other, I knew that. You guys, so if you're thinking about this person and you're wondering why you're thinking about them or, you know, it seems like they don't care about you, so why can't you get them off your mind? Because they're thinking about you. They're doing these things to get a reaction out of you and it hasn't worked. This person's in their head and I'm getting that they're going to take action to move forward. Told y'all, that passion, undeniable. With those, I'm getting the queen of wands and the king of wands. Yeah, undeniable passion that you guys share. This person misses you, okay? But they definitely feel like you may not be receptive mm, to this connection. But I'm getting, they want to rebuild this. Transformation, right? They want to rekindle. They want to reconcile, y'all. Get prepared. Because I'm seeing the phoenix rising, y'all. The ball is in your court, okay? Divine Feminine. The ball is in your court. Free will is at play. And I'm seeing wedding rings now too, y'all. I'm gonna leave this reading here.
Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.